Do you have a difficult time keeping up with Skype communication? Can you imagine what it would be like to manage every aspect of Skype from one screen without disrupting your daily routine? Skype for Browser. Our system was designed to help our friends and employees share information from locations all over the country. Standard Skype is great, but we thought we could make it better. We wanted to have one window where we could share notes, create shareable tabs, chat, group chat, speed dial, manage voicemails, make conference calls, call from our address book, surf the web, and much more. Could this be done? Watch our demo and you decide. Skype for Browser is a secure browser window with Skype integration and sharing capabilities. Our system uses tabs to consolidate Skype use and web surfing into one central location. The browser window has two main sections. Section 1 is the upper browser window which allows for note sharing and web surfing. Tabs can be created and shared with other users according to permissions settings. Section 2 is the lower browser window where we have integrated Skype. From here you can manage all aspects of Skype including voicemails, calls, chats, and conferencing. The following live video tutorial demonstrates how someone would use our product during a typical day. Incoming Skype calls are managed from the lower browser screen. The red icon hangs up the call and the green icon answers incoming calls. Tabs can be shared across the web and notes inside tabs can be moved by the drag and drop method. Skype is fully integrated into the bottom browser window. You can create a Skype message or call by clicking on one of the pre-configured Skype tabs. Notice the Skype chat taking place in the window below. Our configurable search block on the tabs bar lets you search the internet using your chosen search engine. In our case it's Google. When we click on the web page link the page is opened up in the upper part of our screen. New temporary tabs appear from search results. Permanent tabs can be added by clicking on the green plus sign to the left of the upper set of tabs. New tabs can be created for notes or web surfing. Favorites allow you to set up preferred websites just like in a standard browser. Once a favorite is added, you simply click on it to open it in a new window. Skype quick messages are preset messages that you can send to a chat or group chat with one click. Integrated Skype voicemail allows you to call back, listen to, and delete voicemails. A voicemail note will be inserted into your Call Notes tab after you type a note and click Enter. Incoming calls can be answered in the lower right of the browser and forwarded to other Skype users by simply clicking the Call Forward icon on the User's Skype tab. Group conference calls or chats can be done by creating a group from the address book and selecting it to show up in the Skype tabs. You can then call or chat with the group with one click. The lower right of the screen you see that we are in a conference.
lower left screen icons allow you to minimize the Skype window, open native Skype, change your audio settings, use the address book, see chat history and manage all browser settings. For Skype for browser pricing click here. You can call us at 1-800-774-4496 Monday through Friday 8.30 to 5.30 Eastern Time. This video will now pause. Click the play icon to continue with installation instructions. Getting started with installation. There are several things that must be done prior to using Skype for browser. Click this free Java download link and a new page will open. Click the blue button to install the latest Java version. In some cases you may have to run the ActiveX control at the top of the browser to make the installation pop-up appear. Click install and the Java installation will begin. If you have the current version you will be notified but it will do no harm to install it again. This video will now pause. Click the play icon to continue. Logging into Skype for Browser. After signing up you should have received an email with your user ID and password. Click here and enter them in the pop-up window and click Remember My Password. This video will now pause. Click the play icon to continue. Our digital certificate signature. Click Run to install our certificate. This video will now pause. Click the play icon to continue. Allow Java to use Skype and don't worry if the windows go away too fast. You can set them in native Skype in the next video. This video will now pause. Click the play icon to continue. Open native Skype by clicking on the Skype icon and click on Tools, Options, Advanced, then click on Manage Other Programs Access to Skype. Next click Change. When you click OK, Java will be allowed to use Skype. Once you allow our program to use Skype, we will automatically import your first five Skype contacts onto Skype tabs at the page bottom. Once they appear, configuration is complete and you can now use Skype for browser. 